Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I'm your host CDB, you are not, and today we're going to use the West Coast shaving soap called Pear Burr, uh, and it is described as a cooling barbershop scent. And of course there's the pear element there. It is a different take on uh, barbershop. It is not like any barbershop you've ever used likely, or at least in my opinion. You definitely get the pear, and there's some other stuff going on. It's supposed to be cooling. I tried it earlier in the week. It was very good. This is the Oleo uh, duck fat type uh, formula, which is quite good. And let me go ahead and wet the face here a little bit, and we'll just get started. Again, this is the West Coast Shaving um, Pear Burr Shop. I didn't say shop the first time, sorry. Pear Burr Shop. Something along those lines, anyway. Um... All right, we got some moisture on the face. Oh, by the way, we're also going to be using this Yaki. The top is OC, the bottom is not. It's just got some ridges, so it's not a double open comb, but it's OC on the top, and the bottom just has some ridges, so not a true double OC, but I have used it a couple of times. The inspector uh, sent it to me, and it's an aggressive rascal. Um, quite aggressive, but it does a good job. All right, so here we go with our West Coast shaving. Parabur shop, or however you want to say that. All right, smells great, gotta tell you. If you like pear, um, it smells wonderful. It is not your traditional barber shop scent by any stretch of the imagination, so please keep that in mind. It is a, a take on barber shop. But it's not what you expect. It is, uh, it's quite sweet and is quite fragrant. I'd give it a, again, this one's probably uh, eight out of 10 on scent strength. And my uh, experience with the performance, the one time I used it earlier in the week was it was quite good. And of course the oleo soaps are, are quite good. Anyway, you would expect that. And so it's a very interesting scent. It is, is in my view, very unique as it applies to barbershops. And there's not a lot of uh, barbershops that distinguish themselves from one another. They all have a similar scent. This one is different, I can tell you that, with, uh, <clears throat> with no hesitation, that is, it is really different and unique. Uh, it's definitely a summer type scent. In my estimation, if you worry about those things, you know me, I don't, I'll use it anytime. Because uh, I'm not, you know, beholden to the seasons, as some people are, but if you are, it's definitely a sweeter, in my view, summertime type scent. And here we go with our Yaki, which I mentioned before. It is aggressive, and boy, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a good deal of feedback there. Let's see if you can hear it. You never know if this stuff comes over on video and boy let me tell you it just glides right along on that duck fat base from oleo very good stuff i had a really nice shave with it i think i used it to monday or so i got it into last week like last saturday after i'd already shaved yeah a lot of feedback on this razor aggressive but i must say it uh it glides very nicely on the Oleo. Astra is the blade in here. Very nice. So, so far, the Oleo is doing a great job. This, uh, this razor is, I would put it in the aggressive uh, category. Not menacingly so, but it reminds me somewhat of an R42. I don't know if it's exactly that aggressive, but you, know, you can definitely feel some blade, and you can definitely feel it uh, being quite efficient. So I would definitely call it efficient without question. By the way, here's a look at that. Well, with the light, you can never really see it, but this is good stuff and very fragrant, which, of course, I like. There's nothing worse for me than a soap where you, you get it, and you're looking forward to the scent, and you can barely smell it. Now, some people... They have sensitivities and they don't like a lot of fragrance in their soap. I think uh, Jam and James is one that, you know, he likes mild scent to medium. He doesn't like them super fragrant, but uh, I like mine to, 
You know, I like to know it's in the room. Like, I like to be able to smell it without having it right near my face. Uh, it's part of the experience and part of the reason why I enjoy using these type of products to experience the different scents and so forth. And this one will certainly provide that scent. By the way, the, the brush is the Razor Rock um, 400. This one has the aluminum handle, which uh, personally, I like the, the butterscotch one. I like the resin handle better. These just, they always feel a little unbalanced to me when you have a very heavy handle. Now the knot is nice and it's, it's a good price, but I'll probably uh, give this one away. All right, so it's been a busy week for me. Wednesday, my uh, wife had shoulder surgery. She had actually, for the last two months, been walking around with a fractured shoulder. It took that long to get the procedure and she had tendons torn from her bicep and rotator cuff and a fracture, so we had that done Wednesday and it was successful. And the doctor said, man, she needed this. She had really uh, seriously mangled that shoulder, but hopefully she's on the road to recovery now, doing pretty well, still in a fair amount of pain, which you would expect, but um, on the road to healing, so that's good. She definitely needed that procedure to fix that shoulder. She she just fell down. And uh, when she did, she landed on that shoulder and it, it fractured the shoulder and tore tendons all over the place and was a mess. So they put four anchors in it and, you know, all kinds of stuff. And uh, fortunately, it was a successful procedure and it seems to be doing well. And the wound looks good right now. The, but you know, they did it with the scopes, which just like four little holes. It's not like it used to be back in the day when they had to open you, clean up. Medicine has gotten a lot better, uh, fortunately. All right, let's get back to the soap, I guess. Uh, boy, this is a really uh, slick, well-performing soap. I am getting a little of that cooling uh, sensation. I don't know what's in it. I don't know if it's menthol. I don't smell. The, the fragrance of menthol, but it is cooling on the face, which is good. It's just excellent in the summer, of course, if you're looking for cooling. Let's go ahead and just continue pressing on here. I'd have to say I'm pretty well pleased with this soap by the folks at uh, Oleo and West Coast Shaving collaborating. Now, of course, the last one I tested was a Kate's Bubbles, Chris Cullum collaboration with West Coast. Now this one is from Vita and uh, from Oleo and West Coast Shaving. So like I said last time, the folks at West Coast are really trying to get out there and get some unique products and distinguish themselves from the other vendors. And they're doing a good job as far as I can tell. So check them out. Uh, last week after I looked, I noticed they had free shipping, no minimum. I don't know if that's still ongoing. Today is, I don't know what day it is. It's close to the end of August, but you can look at the date this was posted because I'll post it today. Um, they had free shipping, no minimum. It said they didn't know how long it would last. But they were running a promotion. So uh, if they're still doing that, then, you know, take advantage of that. I know how hobbyists love some free shipping. I mean, who doesn't? So check them out and take advantage of that if it's still ongoing. And if it's not still going on, then apologies <laughs> for but maybe you'll find something nice at the website anyway. Uh, they do have a lot of great stuff. Uh, I don't know when this goes for sale. If not already, it will be very soon, so keep an eye out for it. I'm definitely feeling that cooling, which is really nice, really fine soap. So I'd say great job from both Vita at uh, Oleo and uh, West Coast Shaving. They've really, they've really got something unique here, at least in terms of scent. Now the pear is reminiscent of other pear since you've you've uh, certainly had, you know, pear scents. Sterling has one, and I think uh, so. Commander had something sort of pear, which was very nice. So you'll get some similarities in the uh, in the pear, of course. But as far as the barber shop, as a barber shop scent, it is, as far as I can tell, or at least based on what I've used, completely unique for a barber shop type. And actually, it's barbershop. It's sort of inspired by barbershop, I would guess. 
It's not barbershop per se, but anyway, it is different, sweet. Um, so if you really like super, super sweet, this one may not be, or if you don't like super sweet fragrances, this may not be for you. Now it's not, it's not so sweet that it's off-putting, but it's very nice in my opinion. So if you do like sweet, I imagine you will appreciate it. If you're just opposed to anything the least bit sweet or, you know, sort of fruity uh, in scent, then you may not at all appreciate it. But uh, the quality, no problem whatsoever. In fact, it's quite good. And I've gotten a really nice shave with it. And I'm using a fairly aggressive razor here with this Yaki. I don't know what model it is or anything like that, but it brings it. You can definitely feel that blade. And as you can see here, there's still plenty of residual slickness. The razor is just gliding along. So it's been a very, very nice shave. Let me go ahead and uh, rinse off and we'll come back to the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back with the magic made by witches. Thayer's Witch Hazel, which I need right here. You see my spot there acting up in that spot just always is red. And usually the Witch Hazel helps with that. It doesn't always completely eliminate it, but it certainly helps and that feels great. By the way, I could still feel that cooling after I washed it out of my face, washed it off my face, I should say. Let's see if there's any menthol in here. Uh, da, da, da. Cocum butter, duck fat, sodium hydroxide, gastrol. I don't see menthol, but it definitely has a cooling effect. So uh, nice stuff here, this barbershop, which is, I guess, inspired by barbershop. Sweet, unique scent in my view. Uh, so check it out at West Coast Shaving. And of course we had our Razor Rock 400 aluminum uh, handled razor. We had the Yaki, which is aggressive, but it did a good job. Thank you, Inspector, for letting me try that. And we're gonna just finish it off with a little Sterling Sharp Dress Man, just cause I like it. Not that it has anything to do with the Parber Shop. I just wanted to use it today and that smells fantastic. Excellent, all right, that has been a really nice shave. I wanna thank everybody for joining me once again. Again, thanks to the good folks at West Coast Shaving for letting me try this soap out. Uh, go on over to West Coast Shaving and check it out and see if they still have that free shipping no minimum going. And if so, you know, take advantage of it uh, while you can because I'm sure it will not last forever. Thanks everybody for watching. Until next time, I've been your host CDB. You're not, God bless.